And so I right, put it on okay. here. Uh, recorded. So the first here. one is the printing forward. The second one is. Yeah, so this is what it looks yeah, like. The reverse one. Uh, yeah. So yeah. if I try to run this like right now, because I got this one off of um uh, this one. So I thought it would work like that. So if I run it, if I run it. Yeah, you can close the file. So which is open one, you can close it. Yeah, it only um, goes to that. Hmm. Okay. Okay, all right. So I think the invert one, inverted one, I have to try some other things are open, right? Let's see. Okay, uh, here we are, and this is what we have to try. Uh, so print in asterisk uh, forward pattern. Then uh, second second example. So before closing the file, uh, so the file close, you can do that last finally. And uh, the second thing that you can try is uh, the space uh, no. The reverse one. Reverse one means you can start from, let's say, 10, and you can go back to uh, zero. So then print this. So it's very simple, right? So this is going forward, and this is going backward, minus one to go backward. And uh, let me run this. Once I execute it, I'll get, uh, as, you, as you got, uh, I'll get the same result. Uh, so let me close this. Um, so this is what um okay. This is the hello dot text. You can see the forward pattern and so that's the backward pattern. Okay, the file name is hello dot txt. Let me run. I it. think it says to like it will reload. Sorry. Um, like there should be an option that it should say like. Um, the file has reloaded. Yeah. Okay. All right, okay. You're getting that. So this is other way, right? So print in the other direction. So actually to see that clearly, you can add multiple new lines. You can say uh, file dot write so let's add some new lines. I'm going to add two new lines. Yeah, no, wait. Then it's clear. Load the file. Right, you can see here, now back lines are added and the reverse pattern can be seen. So the third one. Third one is uh, again. I'm adding few new lines. Two new lines will be enough. <coughs> Actually, I want to print uh, spaces. Some uh, spaces. Uh, this space is number of spaces reducing. Uh, so it's uh, spaces. Uh, it's going from let's say I need spaces going from nine, and to that I'm adding uh, asterisks asterisks and uh, let me multiply that by uh, nine minus k and plus this so let me run code now and so let's see the output so in the column Okay, see here, uh, you're getting the reverse pattern.
try the other one also try the other one also other one means like you are going uh, so that is the reverse of this right cdc number of uh, then uh, here it's going from uh, you can see it's going from uh, space uh, high number of spaces to low number of spaces the other one should go uh, high number of asterisks to low number of asterisks and the spaces should be increased that means like you have to stop this one should be the space and this one should be straight right i hope that will work uh, and uh, space should come to the front space uh, then a straight right so let's see run it again and this is what you're getting as the output okay here it is and uh, if you need yeah you can add some new lines right so easy so this is the full code you can just practice uh, so because we have already done that the only thing is just adding that to the uh, file and finally close the file so here it is and you are getting the results So there is one line if you can add so one more line will, would be read the last one so you need to add one more line right you have to start from actually here this one more line is missing because it's going up to nine and finally you need to have 10 asterisk line too this one actually this one is okay right this one you are having uh, tens one two three four five nine actually you can start from ten ten here and ten minus k here so similarly you can start with ten and minus k let's see Okay. Yeah, you're getting that right. This additional space uh, can be avoided by avoiding the, the number of spaces there. There should be, can we have to mention K minus one? K minus one. Just to fine tune this, right? Otherwise, the things will happen. I'm just trying to fine tune this. Okay. Let's see that. Yes, I hope uh, it's done. Yeah. Or you can just mention K there uh, and uh, just uh, increase this to uh, K uh, plus one, one more space. So likewise, you can just test, you can try. Here you are getting, but one additional space is there that need to be removed. It can be moved by adding K minus one. It's all about the controlling. It's all about controlling and adding these things. You can see now it's perfectly fine, right? See all four patterns perfectly there. So this is about controlling. So otherwise, just if you just add K and 
10 minus k it will happen but so this add in one uh, reduce in one space reduce in one space and add in one more asterisk to fine tune this so that fine tuning part actually you can do with practice uh, you will be able to add that okay okay so more challenging would be like uh, drawing a face like thing so yeah. in, in uh, using text so you can try that but it will be more challenging or maybe a christmas tree something like that so generate in a text file using text you have to create uh, using the text you have to create uh, something like a face it will be more challenging right okay let's see uh, let's try to develop let's try to create a file and uh, which can do calculations and which can do areas processing right can be used because still we have not learned about database concepts yet to learn that so i'll uh, discuss uh, so do you need that part also or just programming so what do you think because then programming uh, in actually in any kind of programming the ultimately or the end result is to create a system no? so when you are creating system you know software need a few things we learn software need number one the coding or the instruction number two storage or data structure so this is actually file is going to be a data structure but these file based systems are rare now so we are not going to store things in the files as so we can store so there are ways there are systems still we have operating systems store things in the file but more common is database right i think we need to learn database as well i'll anyway i'll discuss with uh, sarn also and uh, let you know about that mm -hmm. because like anyway so in order to build a complete system you need storage or data structures but for the moment for today we can use that using a file okay let's create a system like this and uh, i'll first of all i'll show you uh, how can we read a file how can we read a file and then we'll go to the uh, so file writing is now you know it's easy using w method you can create a file actually it's always creating a new file the w method will create a new file always it's creating a new file and uh, even though there is a file it will be overwritten so or if there are no files it will create a new file so that is the nature of w method so it's writing right so let's see the uh, read method r method now so let me erase this code or oh, let me close this and add a new file There are few ways that you can read a file. There are few ways that you can read a file. So the method number one, so please write the heading, read in a file. And method number one, you can just read it. So you can say F or file equal open. So let's open the file we have already written, hello.txt. Actually, the file should be there in order to read the file should be there default mode is anyway reading default mode you can see mode equal r default mode is anyway reading if you mention this as r mode still it will start reading no if you skip that part that is also okay because default mode is reading then read so the easiest way you can say f dot read and finally, you can print this in your stream by printing result. And finally, you can close. Let's save the file. Yeah. 
here it is and you can see the result in the stream it's reading the entire file <coughs> it's reading the entire file that is the method number one or in method number two you can read files so let's learn two methods you can read the files by reading read lines read lines so read is this and read lines we'll read the file into lines and keep it in a list right you can see the entire file will be stored in a list so the file reading happens and it will be stored in a list this is the list and then you can uh, print the result it will print the list but more decently so you can do something like this for item in result because this is a list for item in result, you can then print the item with, uh, because new lines are already there, you can end with nothing. So let's run the code now. And you can see it's writing line by line. So this first one is reading. The first read has written the entire file. This one comes from the first reading. The second reading reads the, into the list. Then it prints line by line. So let me uh, let me comment or erase the first one. Save. So then you can see the second reading. It happens. You can see it prints line by line. It prints line by line. So whatever you read into the list. So this is a list, list is set of items here. So that later you can iterate through. Later you can go through the items in the list. So this is the second method. Okay, please write down, please try the first method. And after that, try the second method quickly. in the file into a list reading the file into a list actually this part you are iterating through the the list iterate into the list is actually a data structure list is so similar to variable, it can store set of items. It can store set of items. Uh, let me show you an example right in the shell. So let's say X is a list. X can store set of items like this. You can see these items are stored. So the items are separated by comma, and then you have to, this is, so this is actually X is a list of items. When I print X, so this is X. It is list of items. So I'll, uh, I'll, I'll explain this next day, right? So we have to learn about list of first dictionaries. I forgot that. So we have to learn that part two. This is actually list of items. If you want to print the zeroth item of the list, so you can say X zero, X zero is two. Zeroth item of the list is this. If you want to calculate length of the list, you can just get length of x. So that is 12. So similarly, if you ask uh, length of the result, it will tell number of lines in this result. It is 46. You can just count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 into 4 is 40. Then you have 2, 2, 2 in the middle, 2 and 2 and 2. That is uh, 2 plus 2 plus 2 is 6, altogether 46 lines. So because it is acting as a list, if you want to print the 0th item, you can just print uh, uh, print uh, result the 0th item of that, that is the first line of that file. 
So if you want to print like 10th line, so you can just call here, this is 10th line empty. So let's print the ninth line. So that is this 10 asterisks. Or you can just uh, for K in range. So let's say you can say starting from zero to 10. Uh, what you can do is you can print uh, result K Titan. K will go from uh, K will go from zero to zero to nine. You can see it's printing this. Why the additional line? Because the new line is also there and you are printing a line. So that will add additional line to stop that you can end with empty line. So that will give you this. Understood the advantage of having a list because you can recall that, right? You can store that and call it. So unlike you read the entire file, it is over. After reading, the file reading is over. But here it's not. You can keep the file in a list like this. You can keep the file in a list and later you can manipulate. So please uh, try these things as well. So we'll learn about the list, tuples and dictionaries. So then it will be more convenient to you. So for the moment, just get an idea. What is the list? List is actually a set of items. List is just a set of items. Right, uh, the next reading method. So now, you know, the first reading method read everything, the second reading method read line, read line by line. Uh, the third reading method, third reading method uh, is, uh, let's say, in the third method, we are going to read uh, from, read only one line at a time. So that is, uh, so this one, uh, so let me show this actually as an organized note, otherwise like, we'll confuse in when we are learning into the advanced. Okay, uh, so this has everything in organized way. Just give me a second. Okay. So see this. So <coughs> okay. Uh so as I said in the beginning yesterday, so there are two kinds of files. So there are two kinds of files. So one is called text files. So what we are working with now, so those are called text files. Text files are basically can be opened using any text editor. So these files can be opened here, file which can be, which contain only letters, symbols, and readable, readable symbols and numbers. So those are text files. So shall we write this note quickly? So this part and this part, there are two kinds of files and also this, right? So the simplest way, as I said, is databases, but so still we are using files to right? We are using five uh, files to write. So simple, simplest way is file, but the more decent way is using databases. We will learn both techniques. So here, simplest way of saving an output in a file, using a file. In addition to that, we can save using databases. Let's learn that in future, right? For the moment, just learn about file reading, writing. And there are two kind of files. So that is text files. And other file type is binary file. I said this yesterday, but I couldn't give a note. 
So the other type or the second type is uh, binary file. Binary file contain multimedia shapes, pictures, tables, graphs, charts, etc. So that is binary files. So if you want to read a binary file, you have to read like RB. If you want to read a normal file, text file, you can read with R method, RB and R. Okay. This is, uh, this is a function, the file reading or file opening is a function. It has two parameters. So reading can be done with default parameter, as I said, so without mentioning any, or you can mention R, or if it's a binary, RB can be mentioned. R, O, R, B, O, so this can be mentioned, right? So based on your requirement. Reading, actually reading can be done just by calling the reading method. Right. Actually, the, this uh, shows the entire story. So file has three modes, read mode, write mode, and append mode. The file has three modes, read mode, write mode, and append mode. The read mode is basically to read the file as we learn now. And write mode to write the file. And append mode is there to, append means mode is there to read, write. The append mode is adding content to the file. So please write down this as well. Right. Only the highlight part, right? So file modes, read, write, and append. Because this table I'll be giving, I'll give all these things. But for the moment, just for the summary, you need to write down this. The read, write, append mode. Reading is reading the entire file. Writing, so you can write the file. Binary O. And append is basically adding to the end. It is also a write mode, but that has a speciality without overwriting. Without writing from the beginning, it writes to the end. Because write mode will overwrite me, right? If you include write mode, it will overwrite. It will erase everything and write. But the append mode, without erasing, it will add to the end. So that is the speciality. If you add by B binary, binary files can be. Then all together, there will be this number of modes. Write, write in binary. R plus is write and read. RB plus is write in binary and read. W is write, WB write in binary, W plus N is write and read both, WB plus write in binary and read, append, append in binary, append and read, append in binary and read. So this is how the plus applies. These are the modes that you can do altogether. Right. These are the ways of reading a file. So reading everything. So we already learned that reading everything can be done using read mode. And uh, reading line by line. I didn't explain this, but I said the read lines method. Read lines method can be uh, used to read everything into a list. But there are two more methods where you can read line and read uh, read actually line by line so so there is a difference i'll explain this by doing this practically okay let's say you want to read the file after opening so let's say you want to read the file line by line uh, so you can say read line by line so to do that you can do something like this for line or for line okay let's say line in file you can print this line so this is another way of reading let me erase all these things to make room to this method and you can see it's reading down 
So why the additional space coming is coming? You know the reason because it will add the new line space add as well as the print will add space. So we can remove the space added by the print by ending this with empty quotation. Then you can read this. If you can see, so this is the method. Read, read in, read line by line. You can call this is a loop. This is a for loop. This for loop can go to line by line. So I'll add that previous text to, or you can just try this out. And there's another way, one line at a time. That is also a method. Let me close the file. Otherwise, uh, after reading, if you are not, uh, if you forget to close the file, then file pointer will be at the end of the file. If you try to read it again, it won't happen. So that is why I'm closing the file. When you open, it's like this, right? When you open a file, so let's say this is the, this is your file, sorry. Let's think this is your file. And it is starting reading from the first pointer here, then go line by line, line by line, line by line, line by line to the end. So it will stop at the end. This point, if you cannot close the file, if you try to read, so no further lines. So it will say empty. Because you are at the end of the file. Now you try to read, no further lines are. So it will simply give an error. It's not an error actually. So here, for an example, let me let me read the file again. If I want to print, print this uh, f.read, f.read is reading the entire thing. So after, after running this code, if I try to read the file again, entire file, so here, so let me save. So first it read the line by line method, but second it returns nothing because it cannot read the file. Since you have, you are at the end of the file. But if you remove this and save this, now if you try to read the file at the end, okay, it says the file is not open. So let, because since you have closed, you have to open it again. F equal open. Let's open the file again. Hello.txt. Right. So then, uh, hello.txt. Now you can see it doubles. The second one comes from the file reading. After closing, you have to open the file and read again. But if you are not closing, you can read. But the thing is, you are at the end of the end of the file. That's the reason. Okay, how can we how can we read line by line? So let me open the file. Or if uh, it's open again, hello dot text txt, and this time I'm opening for reading. And uh, so let's say uh, I want to read. Single line, read single line. Uh, result equal f dot read line. You are reading just a single line. Then, if you print uh, this uh, result, you can see it's printing only, printing only here one asterisk, the first line. So you can multiply this R, uh, then you can say uh, after reading. So you can, if you want to read another line, you can call F dot uh, read line again. That will read the second line. Likewise, you can keep on reading line by line. Keep on reading line by line. Now it read the second line as well. But if you want to loop through, you can give a for loop, or while loop, or let's say K in range. You need to read uh, from the zeroth line or let's say uh, 10 lines. Okay, in range 10. You can print uh, f dot read, read line. Here, yeah, it's reading the it's reading 10 lines. So that is the fourth method. Okay, now you have all four. Please give a try to implement all four.
So read in entire file, read lines into a list, read line by line, one line at a time. So these are the possibilities. These are the ways of reading files. There are four ways and these are the ways. Okay. If you're done, tell me. Right. Uh, so after file reading, so I'll I'll upload this now. Right. After file reading, and uh, so let's do one more example. So please uh, understand this question, right? This is what we are going to do now. So you can take a screenshot too. Oh, so since you have written many notes today, so just uh, take a screenshot and so I'll read for you then. So let's try to create this input marks of 10 students for three subjects, right? You have to end input marks of 10 students for three subjects. That's English and IT and calculate the total average marks of each student and store all the information, uh, including the student name to a CSV file. CSV means comma separated question. So you have to record this data. So the example record is given. Uh, the heading will be a student name, maths marks, English mark, IT mark, total mark and average marks. And you can see the values code. Student name is Achini, maths mark is 80, so English, mark, uh, English mark 90, IT mark 90, total mark 260, and the average mark is uh, 86.66. This is how you have to store. You have to store in a CSV file. So let's try to do that now. Right? So then uh, actually, this is assignment. This is a uh, homework assignment. So what do you have to try? You have to try to delete records. From the file by modifying the code. So deleting actually, so you don't have something called delete, right? Or uh, so you, you don't have something called delete there. What you need to do is read it back and write it to new file. So let's say you want to delete the record, read everything. Let's say you want to delete this record, except this record, you have to write other things to the file, a new file. Then maybe you can delete the original file after doing that. So that is the way of deleting, right? So deleting, you don't have any other method uh, other than doing reading the file again and writing it back. So that is what you need to do there. So that is uh, one issue of this file system because straight away you can't search and delete the specific part. 
right? But there are ways. There are ways of doing that. So for the moment, so we only know how to write and read. You no, know, using that, if you want to do, that is the way. Right, because file had read and write methods. So let's start. Uh, I need to create a new file. File new, and I need to obtain three marks and the name. So let's say name equal. So you know how to input mark name these things. Name equal input. You can say enter uh, the name. Enter the name, and uh, then uh, you can say max. So let's say uh, int right. Oh, uh, even float, float uh, input, enter, max, marks. I'll help at the initial level, then you need to improve this. So similarly, you can get uh, science mark and English marks, right? S-C-I-N-C-E, English. So here I enter the second one and third one. Enter S-C-I-N-C-E, science marks, and enter English marks. So name, math, science, English marks. Then uh, total equal math plus science plus English. Finally, you need to write this to a file. You know? Finally, you need to write this to a file. And let's calculate the average also. Average is equal to total divided by three. That is the average. But this time you are not going to print. You are going to open a file. Uh, so let's say file is open. My marks dot CSV is the file extension and this is for the writing purpose first line i'm going to write the uh, file dot write first of all i need to write the headings headings are you know a name after that uh, maths after that uh, in, uh science yeah, in CA. after that english after that the total and uh, the average so that uh, should come. So, uh, then you need to write the uh, write these uh, values. So that can be done by file dot write. So let's write uh, the first thing is maths mark. So you are going to write str maths. After that, you need to write a comma. Str maths plus a comma plus str. Ah, first name, name plus comma, right? Name plus comma. Then str maths, str in uh, science, and uh, plus another comma. So if you cannot understand, please let me know. Str uh, name after that a comma, maths after that a comma, science after that a comma, English after that a comma, then total after that again a comma, then the average. Average and all, yes, total and the average. Yes. Finally, let me close the file and see you the results. Let's see the results, right? Let's uh, close this. I'm saving this as uh, file example dot py. And let's run the file. It's asking me the question, enter name, and I'm entering my name. Oh, sorry. It's asking maths marks. 
science and English maths. Oh, 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 I have mistake here. T made T. Let's just write again. Be careful with typos. Again, train the values. Oh, average. This need to be converted. STR. These are syntax errors. And these two. Because these are not originally strings. I need to convert that. Let's try again. Since the language is interpreted, it will run the correct code and stop when the code is wrong. But this, if this is compiled, it will show the errors at the initial stage itself. It will not run. But since this is interpreter, so we learn about these translators, interpreter convert line by line. Oh my God, so what is that? AVG here, and I have used average. Right, a lot of errors. So let's try one more time. So, uh, okay, done. So let me go and open the file. So that is the speciality that I want to show you. This file can be open using a text editor as well as this can be open using Excel numbers like applications. Right, you can open using a text editor and you'll see the message like this. When you open using a text editor, you will see the message like this. A comma separated version here. The values with separated using commas. Right? So one more thing, I need to add a new line after this average and after that a new line should come. And here, even after this, a new line should come. Oh, okay, let's try to do that. Now, you know the question. Uh, let's say uh, me and I'm adding some values. So then, uh, so the next thing is you can open this using Excel-like applications. When you open this using Excel or Atom-like application, so that is the speciality of this file. You will see the result in cells. You can see the result in cells. Okay, just take a screenshot of this and the question. The question is this. And so you can see the result. The result can be displayed in a text file like this or in a Excel file like this. When you open using Excel here, you can see this in cells, values in cells here. That is the speciality of CSV file. I need you to enter 10 such marks as the homework. Please enter 10 such marks and that is your homework. And this is a tip. So deleting part, uh, no need to do this week. Right? You can just try to enter 10 marks. If possible, just try deleting also. Try deleting also. Right? Just take a screenshot of this and try it. Okay, uh, I have a question. So when I try to do that and I run it and I put in information, um, it doesn't show anything on the on the file. Did you close the file? Uh, okay, let me. So I closed it and now I opened it and there's nothing on there. There's nothing? Nothing. Okay, so can you share? Okay.
so I have them. Um, so I put this. No, no. So where is your file closing? File closing is not there. Oh. You cannot close the file. Without file closing, you cannot see anything. So it's like saving. Oh. You have not saved the file. You have created the file, but you didn't save. So then you will not see anything. Oh, okay. Forgot that. Oh, okay. Uh, headings, uh, I think you missed the heading part. Ah, oh, no, no, headings are there. Yeah. Okay. It's just highlight. Right. Uh, just try the try to enter ten marks, right? So, like you saw in the picture, try to insert ten marks, and also try whether you can delete and. So ten marks equals like ten subjects. Uh, no, like no, no. Uh, I'm asking you to enter ten records to the same. So like this. Can you see here? Yeah. This one. Right. It has ten records. So similarly, oh. you enter ten records, right? Oh, okay. That uh, seems pretty easy. Yeah, it's easy. Okay. Then uh, then if time permits, try for deleting. And search into right, just give it okay. a try. Okay, then right. goodbye. Have a nice day. Okay. Bye.